Today's lesson is titled Area and Perimeter of Parallelograms. Example number one. Uh, take a moment and sketch this parallelogram. You don't need to color it in yellow. You can just sketch the outline and label the sides. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do is figure out the perimeter. We do know that opposite sides are equal. So we have uh, 5.2 centimeters on the left hand side here. And we'd also have 5.2 on this side. And 6 centimeters on the bottom. And 6 centimeters on the top as well. Now we can go ahead and add those up. And we get 22 and 4 tenths centimeters. That's our perimeter. And now we're going to figure out the area. Now to figure out the area of a parallelogram, you need to figure out uh, the base and the height. Um, we do have the base, and you might at first think the height is 5.2, but it actually, because it's going up at an angle here, it's really not 5.2, it's less than that. So we need a height that goes from here to here. Now on this particular example, we have the height can be represented on a side like so. And quite often, this is what will happen with a parallelogram. They'll give you the height measurement so that you can calculate the area. So again, it's the base times the height. And we can see the base is 6 centimeters times the height of 5 centimeters equals 30 centimeters squared. So now we have both our area and our perimeter. Example number two. Example number two, a similar parallelogram tipped up on its side a little bit. Uh, we'll figure out the area again and the perimeter, starting with the perimeter first. A um, little shortcut here. I can see that 8 and 12 is 20 meters. So I would double that, 20 and 20, and I get my 40 meters for the perimeter. And then same thing as before, we need the height. We don't really have a height yet, but I'll expose the height right now. Uh, the height for this particular parallelogram is 10 meters. So we use that same formula. Area for a parallelogram is the base times the height. And 10 times 8 does equal 80 meters squared. Okay? On to some practice. Here's your practice problem. Uh, here's another example. Quite often they'll actually give you the height of the parallelogram right with inside the parallelogram. So go ahead and figure out both the perimeter and the area of this particular parallelogram. Pause the video and come back when you're ready. All right, we're ready to solve our practice here. Uh, the first thing we'll do is figure out the perimeter. Uh, again, we have 8 and 8 and 6 and 6, which would be 28 inches for the perimeter. And then to figure out our area, we know again it's base, which is here, times the height of 5. So we have 8 times 5, which is 40 inches squared. And that is equal to your area. If you got those all right, give yourself a nice star. Congratulations.